Good day. Thanks for joining me. It is Monday, Memorial Day in the United States, a day when we remember and honor the veterans who fought and died for our freedoms, freedoms which continue to be under attack from our own government, it seems, in the guise of security. But anyway, this is going to be a different kind of memorial video. On Friday, I had to have one of my dogs put down, killed. She had cancer. She was almost 12. German short hair pointer almost made her average life expectancy of 12 to 14 years. We had hoped it was something else. A number of tests were taken. Um, she did have a positive Lyme's disease test, but we understand that test has a lot of false positives to it. Nonetheless, we put her on a month of antibiotics in hopes that it was Lyme's disease. It wasn't. Her condition continued to worsen. Lymph nodes were swollen. She began to develop skin lesions. She was unable to use her left shoulder carrying her left leg, basically. Um, it was time. So on Friday, I took a half day of work, came home to spend some time with her. Put on the brush pants, field boots, put the whistle lanyard around my neck and went over to see her. She immediately became alert. And all I had to do was mention outside and she was ready to go. And this from the dog who for the past couple months could hardly get up out of her dog bed. Effort to rise, effort to make it outside, sometimes needing to be carried. not on Friday. On Friday, she was ready to go. And I brought her here to this piece of property. And for the next hour, she led me around this property. Led by her nose, she took me from covert to covert in search of birds. We had hoped, or I had hoped, I'm sure she had hoped too, that we would get a woodcock or a grouse to point and to flush. We followed a couple grouse trails, or she followed a couple grouse trails. But the grouse had long since left the area into the heavier cover feeding. She did find a turtle. Um, probably the first or the first turtle I'm aware she's ever found, or at least had any interest in.
What did you find? What did you find? Is that a turtle? Did you find a little box turtle? Did you find a little turtle? Spent a little over an hour here. And I think she had a good day compared to what she has had the past couple months. It was a great day. Dogs, they're with us for such a short period of time 10 to 15 years, depends on the breed. They come into our lives at about seven weeks, 49 days of age. At that point, their brains are fully developed, empty, but fully developed. Their bodies are not, they'll grow into those. So at seven weeks, they're a blank slate, pretty much, ready to adopt you as part of their pack. Next couple weeks are, next couple months for that matter, are kindergarten, games, learning through fun, learning through play. Basic commands are taught. No stress. Fun games. At around week 12, 13, there's more discipline involved. The games are still there, the fun, keep it fun. The fun is still there, but there's a little more seriousness about it, a little more discipline. Whistle commands, hand commands, voice commands are all taught. And by 16 to 20 weeks, they're ready for their first hunt provided you've done your job. And that first hunt, it's a puppy hunt. It's, it's about experiences. Um, it's about having fun. They know it. If you're looking for a flawless, perfect dog, that's not what you're gonna have. But it'll be enjoyable. Let it happen. The real hunts will come for the next season and hopefully eight or so seasons thereafter. The youthful exuberance becomes a little more focused, a little more mature, a little more serious hunting. Then the declining years, and it's a rapid decline. It's, it's scary how quickly it fades. Their agility starts to fail, not their enthusiasm, but their body is letting them down. At that point, you're all obligated, the last couple of seasons, you're obligated to take them out into the field. To let them enjoy what they love to do. it passes and so you're left with an empty collar and to steal a line of poetry there is nothing so sad as this empty collar so to all of you who raise dogs, own dogs, have dogs, whether it's for families or for working or hunting. I wish you the best.
So in honor of those dogs and my German short hair, which is no longer with us, I am smoking a Meerschaum Depot carved Meerschaum pipe. This is a dog with a bird in retrieve, a bird dog. Could be a German pointer, could be a lab, could be anything you want it to be. It's reminiscent of all the dogs. And in it, I am smoking Yuli's Hunt Club. Hunt Club is a ribbon cut burley and black cavendish. Uh, Yuli's description is a chocolate souffle with a bit of berry. And I think that's fair. Chocolate notes come through, a little bit of berryiness comes in. But it's not overly sweet. Um, none of the Yuli's blends, at least in my opinion, are overly sweet. I think they're very subtle blends. And if you like Burley, I'd give some Yuli's a try. Yuli's comes out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's a tobacco shop that's probably the oldest tobacco shop in Wisconsin. Look them up on Tobacco Reviews. I think you'll you'll find that their their blends are always highly rated. I am west of the terminal moraine, west of the Ice Age Trail by probably eight or nine miles. I am deep in the glacial Lake Wisconsin bed. Um, as the glaciers were melting, the meltwater flowed west into this vast plain, which became glacial Lake Wisconsin, ultimately to carve its way out through the Wisconsin Dells. Um, but the terrain here is very flat. Being a lake bed, there is some undulation, but for the most part, it's a plain. And before I leave, I'll give you a shot of the creek behind you and the pond behind me. The alder and dogwood tangles, the coverts, the maples, and the ashes, the pines, the hazels. Um, it's, a, it's a diverse, diverse area. So on this Memorial Day, I hope all is going well. I hope you are well, and perhaps I'll see you again. Take care.